Welcome to the Scottish Rite Journal podcast, an audio presentation of the Scottish Rite Journal, brought to you by the Supreme Council of the Scottish Rite, Southern Jurisdiction, Mother Supreme Council of the World. This week's article is Sylvanus Griswold Morley, Archaeologist, Spy, and Mason, by Brothers Scott Jackwith, 32nd Degree KCCH, and Charles Hannaford. 32nd degree and comes from the May-June 2020 issue of the Scottish Rite Journal. Brother Sylvanus V. Griswold Morley, 32nd degree, is best known internationally as a pioneering Mayan archaeologist and expert Maya hieroglyph sleuth. He began his career with the ambition of becoming an Egyptian archaeologist. Yet his Harvard professor persuaded him to direct his attention to the Mayan civilization of Mexico and Central America, since, in his opinion, the antiquities of Egypt had already been largely discovered. Brother Morley heeded his mentor's advice, and he went on to document explorations, adventures, and discoveries throughout the Mayan world. Among his many accolades are the first exploratory excavations at the major Mexican site of Chichen Itza, the preliminary deciphering of Mayan hieroglyphs, and the first English translation of the Popol Vuh, the sacred book of the ancient Quiche Mayans. Brother Morley's life reads like an adventure novel, excavating forgotten ruins in the southwestern U.S., discovering lost civilizations and priceless artifacts deep in the jungle and evading armed guerrillas in southern Mexico. Little wonder that Sylvanus Morley has been suggested as the model for the movie character Indiana Jones. Although born in Chester, Pennsylvania in 1883, Sylvanus Griswold Morley was raised in the Colorado town of Buena Vista. Sylvanus returned to Chester to complete his education at the Pennsylvania Military College and graduated in 1904. From there, Brother Morley enrolled in Harvard University and was introduced to the relatively new discipline of archaeology. It was during his schooling at Harvard that Sylvanus Morley answered an advertisement in the school's newspaper seeking archaeological assistance in the southwest United States and was introduced to the exotic settings of northern New Mexico and southwestern Colorado. There is something perhaps deeply Masonic about Morley as an author who writes of astronomic, prophetic, and ritualistic material as he phrases it in his 1915 book, An Introduction to the Study of Maya Hieroglyphs. In 1907, Sylvanus Morley began archaeological fieldwork in Frijoles Canyon, the present-day Bandelier National Monument, under the direction of Brother Edgar Lee Hewitt, 32nd degree, for the School of American Archaeology. Although Brother Morley spent much of his adult life and professional career in Maya country, he never forgot his adopted home of Santa Fe. His influence on Santa Fe's cultural expression can still be seen today, as he was one of the first proponents of the Santa Fe style that has become the city's archaeological signature. Brother Morley also had an exciting and often controversial a vocational role for the U.S. government during his ventures abroad. His archaeological survey and reconnaissance work in Mexico and Guatemala would serve as the perfect cover for another endeavor during World War I. Though he was a noted Mayan archaeologist at the time, Brother Morley has been additionally described as the finest American spy of World War I. As Office of Naval Intelligence Undercover Agent No. 53, Morley's special assignment was to gather intelligence on possible German actions, invasion points, and the dreaded German submarine menace. Cloaked beneath the pretext of scientific studies, Morley's archaeological and coastline reconnaissance under extremely harsh and hazardous conditions became the model of intelligence-gathering methods that remain largely secret to this day. Sylvanus Griswold Morley had been a resident of Santa Fe and a member of Montezuma Lodge early in the 20th century and long before his wartime experience. He had, however, been an infrequent attendee at Lodge business meetings and degree conferrals due to his vocations as an itinerant scholar, archaeologist, museum director, and, during his wartime stint as a Mayan archaeologist, as a spy for the Office of Naval Intelligence. 
according to abundant records contained within the Montezuma Lodge archives in Santa Fe. It was another friend of Brother Morley, Jesse Logan Nussbaum, 32nd degree, who cultivated Sylvanus's interest in Freemasonry and was even the first line signer of his petition for the degrees. Brother Morley's records are peppered with correspondences from places such as Spruce Tree Camp, the location of the park's present-day visitor center in Mesa Verde National Park and Chichen Itza in the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico. Sylvanus Morley paid visits to Montezuma Lodge when he was in town, regaling the brethren with stories of his adventures. He also repaired to Santa Fe to recover from frequent bouts of the symptoms of malaria, which he had first contracted early in his Mayan career and again on several subsequent occasions which caused him to suffer frequent episodes of chills and forced him to wear heavy winter clothes even during the hot New Mexico summertime. At the time of his death on September 2, 1948, Brother Morley was serving as the director of the School for Advanced Research, the former School of American Archaeology and the Museum of New Mexico. His career had only recently come full circle. Sylvanus having been appointed to the post after the death of his former employer, Brother Edgar Lee Hewitt, in 1946. He was buried in Fairview Cemetery according to the wishes of Brother Morley and his wife, Frances Rhodes Morley, who was buried alongside him. Not until 2019 was Brother Morley given a Masonic funeral service and afforded proper Masonic honors. Perhaps it was a fitting send-off then that before the clouds lifted and the sun shone through on Friday, December 7, 2019, the day began with a light snowfall that blanketed the capital city in perfect, unblemished white. Thus began the poetic closing to the Masonic chapter in the annals of a much-storied academic, clandestine agent, and museum career which spanned four decades in much of the Western Hemisphere and influenced the lives and professions of countless other scholars and unknown agents across the globe. Even after this long overdue ceremony, Brother Morley left us with a riddle. His simple two-foot marble tombstone at Fairway Cemetery is engraved with a cross on the left and a Maya hieroglyph on the right. The hieroglyph is the Maya symbol for the 18th of the Maya month of Pax. Pax translates from the Maya as planting time. What is the meaning of this glyph that Brother Morley has most mysteriously engraved on his tombstone? There seems to be no relation to birth or death dates, but most assuredly, hidden somewhere in the depths of his courageous journals awaits the discovery of a captivating story. It is just one more piece of an exciting life full of adventure and discovery, and a puzzle which Brother Sylvanus Morley has left for us all to solve. Like and share this article, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you wish to comment, please leave one, and as a reminder, hit the notifications bell. Any accompanying photographs or citations for this article can be found in the corresponding print edition. The Scottish Rite Journal is published by the Supreme Council of the Scottish Rite, Southern Jurisdiction, Mother Supreme Council of the World. Mark Dreisenstock, 33rd Degree, Managing Editor. I'm your host. Matt Bowers.